Right, this is one of the uh, 60 by 30 bases, and this is the way, uh, in the Polemus rules, uh, you, you rank them up and there would obviously be four skirmishes in that space in the front. So you've got uh, 24 men. Because um, it's the base size that counts, it doesn't matter how many figures is on the base. But, I mean, 24 men, when I'm looking at my 28mm regiment, all right, yeah, they take up a lot more space, but they consist of 28 men as well. So, to me, we're talking epic here. So I'm thinking, three ranks. We get the skirmishers. I can always put skirmishers on a separate base. But that, three ranks, I think, looks more like a... A regiment should rather than just those two at the back and four skirmishes in front. Uh, I don't know what your opinion is on that, but to me that looks a bit more like a regiment. Right, leave it at that and speak to you again in a bit. Right, 7 o'clock in the morning, the wind's dropped mostly and there's a little bit of sun about, so before I go to work, i managed to get a drop of primer on these boys. Yeah, where's the other one gone? There he is. So, hopefully this afternoon, I'll be able to get uh, some paint on. I know you're supposed to use black, because black's your friend in 6mm, but... I tried doing 28mm with black and I, I just can't see anything with it, it's just a black blob to me, I can't make out any details, at least with this grey primer and then sometimes I give it a little bit of a, a wash, I can see the details far more clearer. I know it means I've got to paint a little bit more but at least I can see what I'm painting with this colour. Anyway, I'll let you see a bit more later. Right, it's afternoon now and uh, the primer has dried so the boys have got uh, hands and, little hands and faces are painted and would you believe, even in 6mm some of these have got beards and moustaches I couldn't believe it when I looked at them close under the microscope, uh, mic uh, you know, the illuminated magnifier I thought, how the hell did they manage to so I thought, well I've given, they've all got brown hair and brown beards and brown moustaches and it's going to be an army of brown haired, so the other, so the confederates. But, I mean, that is really impressive, isn't it? So the hairs are done, the faces and hands are done. I'm going to do the light blue trousers next, I think. And then I'll finish off this part with the uh, uh, blue jackets and hats. And then we'll look about putting in some... I don't know, there's, there's, they've got some little uh, cartridge pouches, so I'll probably have a go at doing that. Uh, it is literally like um, Greg and Ringo said, it really is, you just dab on a bit of paint. It's, and I've done what's said, the seven stamps, seven lolly sticks, and to pass through each one, you're probably looking at, I don't know, four or five minutes per lolly stick. So you're doing all this lot in, you know, in, in, in less than half an hour. Easy less than half an hour, probably 20 minutes. And, uh, just turn it into the sunlight. And it really is as easy as that. If I can get peeking camera work any better. It really is as easy as that. If I turn them round, you can see I've just given them a, a dab of uh, brown at the back with the hair. Um, yeah, really pleased with uh, how, you know, literally how easy it is. Just is uh, literally just a dab with a nice fine point brush and it does the biz. So I shall carry on. 
and uh, so I'll do the sky blue trousers next and then I'll do the dark blue jackets, hats and then I'll see about some of the finer points, the little pouches and bags and obviously the rifles and things, so I'll come back to you later for that. Right, the boys have now got their uh, blue trousers on. Um, again, easy to do. It took a little bit longer than uh, the faces and hair, obviously, because there's a bit more of it, and you've got to do front and back as well, so be a bit careful with it. But uh, yeah, pleased with how that's gone. Looks fine. Next job will be. Uh, Hats and coats, I think. That'll be dark blue. So I'll come back when I've uh, done that. Right, I've got the hats and jackets painted on this four. This four uh, sets worth. Um, turned out quite well, really. I'm reasonably pleased with them. Um, there's cross belts on them and there's little um, bread bass bags with that they carry, you know, have sacks. And uh, there's um, little small uh, ammunition pouch on the belt. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be painting them. I'll give them, give them a go. But um, I think they look reasonably okay. I'm quite. Uh, how to turn out first time I've had a go at this tiny scale. You need a bit of a steady hand, and I've made one or two blobs, but now that I can't put right, so uh, yeah. Um, obviously, doing the blue, the jackets and the hat took a little bit longer than the other other bits did because obviously, there's more of it, and you, you got to be really careful. So, but all in all. That's not bad when you're considering there's what there, there's uh, 16 sets, 64, 64 nigh unfinished now, you know, there's not that much, so 64, I've been doing 64, 28 millimetres in, well, it's basically about two hours really. I didn't get to the blue coats on these, I'll do them tomorrow. But, uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll, uh, I'll keep you updated on how I get on and if I do succeed in actually getting some um, cross belts and things on them, uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.